Hi everybody, it's Tara here with your OT team. I wanted to make a quick video highlighting some of the things that are we've been missing um, with our Therabill billing. Uh, just that we're all universally doing everything the same way and making it a lot easier at the end of the week when we have to go and do billing. Um, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to do a proper note with the billing aspect and the soap note aspect, okay? So this is your home screen. Um, what you want to do is when you're ready to go, when you've seen a child and you want to write a note, obviously, um, you're going to go to your schedule. Um, this is the obviously the monthly look at your schedule, but I always go into day view and then I can go in and I can start plugging in the kids. I'm sorry, you're getting some weird feedback um, because of my, my screen here, but um, this is where you're going to go in and you're going to plug in all of your kids, right? Um, and then you just go ahead and you add them in, right? So when we're going to write an actual soap note on the child, you are going to click on the child. This is imperative. You must click this confirm green check mark so that it shows up on my billing page so that I can sign off on everything, okay? So we're gonna go ahead. The very first thing you wanna do is confirm. Then when you want to write the note, we're gonna hit the blue pencil. This is the billing part of the actual soap note. What you wanna do is make sure your time is right up here. If you happen to see them on an you know off hour time, you can actually go in here, click on the numbers and scroll down and put exactly what time you are able to see the child. So 8.15 to 9.15, 8.42 to 9.45, whatever. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and put that in. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to click you're going to click on the place code and you're going to put where you saw the child. We have three options. Uh, did you see them at home? Did you see them at school? Or if you saw them in a PPEC, you want to go the whole way down to other setting and select that. Uh, next is the diagnosis case and you want to make sure if you're on the OT team, you want to click on the OT diagnosis. You want to keep on scrolling. Go ahead and put your CPT service code in here. Ours for OT is seven, I'm sorry, nine, seven, five, three, zero. Um, you want to click this blue pencil next and then click on all of the ICD-10 codes and save them. This goes on top of every single soap note, so you can't miss it, all right? Uh, then you want to go down here and you want to put, you know, like four units and then however many minutes that ends up being, whether it's 55 or 60, whatever. Um, okay, so that is what you're going to do for a typical billing note. You want to hit save and edit. Okay, now I want to make a note here. If you have a cancellation on a child, you still... I would like for you to still write a note saying that it was canceled. And what you will do here is you will click on, you know, the other setting. If it's a PPEC child, home child, whatever, you're going to go ahead and click on the OT diagnosis and fill in the ICD-10 codes by clicking on this blue pencil. Um, but you're going to do something a little bit different. You're going to click up here on this top box and you're going to hit cancel. Hit that twice. Then you're gonna come down here to these numbers and you're going to clear everything out, right? If you don't clear this out, um, Therabill is going to charge and make a bill for this child even though you hit canceled. So you wanna do that. Make sure there's no numbers down here except for the ICD-10 codes. The cancel button is up here and then you hit save. So that's what you wanna do if you are writing a cancel note. There's two different types of notes that you can be doing. Um, all right, so that's the billing part. I want you to go up here to the documentation as you're writing your soap note. Um, hopefully you do know that on the soap note, uh, you have the option to go ahead and pull from previous soap notes so that you're not writing, um, you know, you're not reinventing the wheel every week. So you can go through and actually pull that um, subjective part from another note that you've already written. Of course, you wanna make sure it's the right discipline. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I would like for you to go in and, you know, um, 
make this unique to the day. If the temperament of the child, you know, if there was something out of the ordinary, if they were sick or they didn't do well, if they did fantastically, you know, just put a little uh, note in there. Um, I really would like, um, and I know we would really like you to uh, put these last two sentences in for every single soap note that you do, unless it's a cancellation note. Um, Please see goals for treatment specifics, carry over ideas written on communication log or spoken to parent or spoken to parent if you are, um, you know, doing a home visit with a parent uh, present and then continue with uh, the plan of care. Those three sentences I would like for you to uh, put on all of your notes. Now, the next thing you're going to do is go down here and you're going to pick out your short-term goals. Please make sure that you are loading in a short-term goal that is correlated with the authorization period that you're in. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Um, you will see that like all of the OT notes, um, like right here, this is an OT note, this is an OT note. You can tell by, you know, the, the goal type. Look at the date. They're all going to be the same because they were all written on the same date. So those are the ones that you can go ahead and choose from. Don't be scrolling the whole way down and choosing notes from, you know, like, two years ago, or um, actually getting a little ahead of yourself um, and and choosing short-term goals that haven't been approved yet. So it's a little bit tricky, but um, Annie's been great about updating uh, the plan of care and the authorization sign-offs for us. So we should be able to make sure that we are picking short-term goals that um, are conducive to the actual authorization period that we're in. So then you hit load selective and once again you can hit this little blue um, folder and pull up the previous documented uh, short-term goals and cut and paste if you feel obligated to do that or if you'd like to do that cut and paste um, and just adjust it so that it's unique to the day all right then when you have that all filled in you're done you just want to make sure you save it and go on to the next child. Um, I will be signing off on everything at the end of the week. Okay, so um, that's everything. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to play catch up and make sure that everything is, you know, documented the way that it should be from here on out. Um, I know that sometimes things can get a little crazy and people ask if they're doing things correctly or not, but this is a great uh, way to just kind of check yourself to make sure all of your billing's done. If you have any questions, please reach out to Annie or myself and um, we will help you through it. But you guys have been doing a great job on your notes. Um, just wanted to make sure that the billing was all filled in correctly. And if you had a canceled note that it was put in correctly. So thank you very much for all of your hard work and we'll talk to you soon.